so much made of the rookie class and wide receiver group. You dipped into that pool as well, I guess to use a, a Jaguar phrase right there. Um, Brian Thomas, how how how's he looking? How effective can he be year one? Do you think week one even for you, coach? Yeah, you know, Brian. Uh, Brian is just a, a a great a great person. Number one, he's 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 quiet, you know, and and we're trying to pull that pull that out of him. But he he's done a great job. He's he's really picked up our offense. Chad Hall's done a nice job just just coaching him and getting him prepared and, and ready and. You know the speed is the speed is real, and and that's something that uh, you know we lost Calvin Ridley in the off season. That was our speed element, but with, we feel like we got that back now in, in Brian Thomas, and uh, you know just getting him getting him caught up with with Trevor, really just getting getting on the same page and, and working out some timing and some details in practice, and and that's what that's what training camp is all about, and and these these preseason games, you know, opportunities to uh, potentially you know, get a couple targets his way and, and see what he can do. But, you know, we've got some time to to get ready and we're excited where Brian is currently and where he's where he's headed and, and the potential that he has to add um, add another element to our offense. Yeah, and you, you added a, a bunch to that, that wide receiver room. Obviously, Gabe Davis being another. It, it's just the reps, right? Is that That's basically it, just to get as many reps as you possibly can now that's another reason why you're probably playing guys in the preseason is to get that out there with with Gabe too I would imagine yeah you know? yeah you know absolutely right Rich I mean it's it, it, there's timing in the passing game there's timing and and um, it's just something that just doesn't come overnight you got to spend time on the grass and in these games and and really develop that that rapport it's it's about you know being on the quarterback's timing obviously and and, and getting Brian in that position getting Gabe in that position Christian and Evan uh, Evan Ingram obviously have that feel having worked with Trevor now the last couple of seasons. So, uh, yeah, Gabe is, a, but he's a veteran player. He he understands how to play and, and, and how to do that. And Gabe's the type of guy too, that you can move around uh, smart enough to play, you know, both outside positions. You can move him inside because he's big and physical. So uh, the biggest thing is just making sure we get enough time with, with Trevor and, and uh, the, you know, the, the preparation there. I mean, you mentioned Christian with Christian Kirk and again, um, Last fall, uh, being in the production meetings with you and your team in London, and I look forward to doing that again when you're taking on the Bears uh, in, a, in a few weeks, uh, I couldn't help but be in, impressed by the relationship Christian Kirk has with Trevor. And, and uh, you know, a lot made about what happened with your team last year. You were in, you know, position of being a one seed, and then obviously the last few weeks didn't go your way. Lawrence was banged up, but Christian Kirk being out to me is the one that I keep pointing to. And I'm wondering what you would say about, about that relationship and how crucial it is for your offense coach. Yeah. You know, Christian, yeah. Christian, you know, got injured early in that game. Same that, game. That, yeah. Against Cincinnati, um, you know, here it, it, it uh, in Jacksonville and then missed the last five weeks. And, and that is a you know as you, as you know quarterbacks and receivers who spent spent time together there's there's a there's a connection there that's di- that goes beyond uh, just the football field and and so we definitely miss Christian you know it was a big part of our offense um, you know last year and and um, it, it just kind of boiled down to uh, you know to Calvin and really you know Zay Jones was injured as well you know he was he was fighting a knee and. Um, you know, it was just a, it was a, it was a struggle for us offensively and we didn't do the things that we needed to do. And, uh, you mentioned Trevor, Trevor was injured at the end of the season, but look, those are all, you know, those are excuses, right. And, and we try not to make them. We don't, we don't like to make excuses, but, um, you know, we're better. Tre- Christian's healthy. Trevor's healthy. Uh, we're looking forward to this year, but, uh, you know, Christian obviously is a big part of the offense. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to three Eastern for free. 